It's the way in. Call up and you weigh in. Now we get to talk about everything you're saying. Analyzing topics, dropping knowledge. We ain't playing when you think it's about to end. So we can't get up again. Hold up. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, my lovely people, man? We back with another post fight review. Y'all, you know what to do, man. Smash that like and subscribe button. It does help with the growth and the visibility of the channel. Man, it does help us tell YouTube that you enjoy what we watching and what we doing over here. Talking boxing, breaking down boxing, reviewing and previewing and predicting and all things boxing. That's 100%. Smash that like button, man. Hit the subscribe button. Welcome. It's your first time to the channel. Feel free to be a part of the family. You know what I'm saying? Run up the numbers on the channel. Um, and communicate with us in the comment section um, if you agree or disagree with the topics that we've been talking about here on our channel here, The Way In. Today, we're talking about definitely a uh, post fight review for Jordan Gill versus Kareem Gafari. Wow, what a fight! What a fight! This is for the EBU title. The thrill, Jordan Gill, age 27, from the UK, Orthodox fighter, standing 5'7. From Huntington, Cambridgeshire, United Kingdom. 27 victories. 8 knockouts. 1 KO. Loss. And 1 draw. That we're talking about is Jordan Gill. Making the step up to the European level. Looking to secure himself the European title he had an opportunity where he won the WBA international featherweight title and so this opportunity to become an EBU champion now let me give you a little bit of rundown with the fight man this fight started off really fast started off really fast Jordan Gill came out pumping the jab early you know for those who didn't watch I'm gonna give you the post fight review pumping the jab early for the first two or three rounds then uh, Kareem, with his experience, with his experience, started to counterpunch off the back foot. He started to counterpunch off the back foot until he started to catch Jordan Gill with the left and right hook. Because every time Jordan Gill would throw his punches, he would leave his hand down. He wouldn't bring his hand back up, you know what I'm saying, to protect his chin. He would throw his shots. His shots would be here. His face would be all open. And Kareem was, was tagging Jordan Gill through the middle rounds up until the late rounds now. Jordan Gill went down in the seventh round. Took a shot that he didn't see as he was going under. He was dipping under. His eyes was on the floor. His face was open. Cream threw the hook. Hit him on the top of the head. Down goes Jordan Gill. So from that round there, round seven, he was hurt. Jordan Gill was hurt. I mean, hurt. So much hurt that he went and sat on the ropes. He sat on the ropes from... He pretty much sat on the ropes seven, eight, and nine. And in the ninth round, in the ninth round, Jordan the Thrill Gill caught lightning in a bottle. He caught lightning in a bottle. It reminded me of when Derek Chisora knocked out Carlos Takam. With one shot. Literally called lightning in a bottle. Wow. The thrill. Jordan Gill. After being pummeled on. Sat in the corner. Waited his turn. And threw a beautiful overhead right. And it was good night. It was good night. Good riddance, man. Um, what a way to end the fight, man. What a way to end the show and take a bow. Started off winning the fight early. Started off putting the pressure on. So then the experience of, of Kareem Gafari started to kick in. He started to counter punch, seeing the openings from your holes that's in your defense to you having Kareem feel like he is leading the way. He got lackadaisical. He felt like he was punching on you and the fight was almost at the end. And you landed a shot from the gods. Shout out to Jordan Gill changing his life. He definitely European level now. 
He got the EBU, European Featherweight title. He definitely has to go back to the drawing board, work on a few things, keeping them hands up so he's not getting tagged with shots that he doesn't need to get tagged with. Definitely is one of those things he got to work on. But most importantly, he's a champion. He's a champion. Shout out to Kareem. Um, wow. What a way to lose a fight. That is his... Oh, I forgot to go through. Kareem Gafari is 34 years old from France. 5'7 and a half with a 64-inch arm reach. 30 victories, 9 knockouts. Don't really got much power either. 6 defeats. 4 of them by knockout. So there you have it. He's coming off a knockout loss to Lee McGregor. Who else knocked him out? Let me see. A few other names that was in and around France and whatnot. He got he got sparked out. But yeah, that's 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 Kareem right there. He just lost his title um to Jordan Gill. Jordan Gill, the whole boxing world, man. Oh yeah, forgot. How can I forget? Did y'all see the DDT that Kareem hit him with? Kareem Gafai hit. Jordan Gill with the DDT. I thought we was watching WWE wrestling. I mean, like real DDT. Like he was out. I don't care what nobody say. He got hit with the DDT and Jordan Gill was out. Jordan Gill got hit with the DDT and he was out. Wow, 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 wow. That's all I got to say is Wow. 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 He managed to recover from that. He got knocked down. DDT. He clashed heads and got a hematoma. Or he, he, a perforated eyebrow on both sides. He got a perforated eyebrow. His eyebrows look like baseballs in him. He got DDT'd. Boom! I mean... Boom! I mean, boom! Go back and watch it. We're gonna drop it tonight on the show, man. Be sure to tap in with us tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. He dropped, he dropped that DDT on him, man. He hit him with the goods. And he was still able to keep himself together and, and dispatch of his opponent. Shout out to Jordan Gill, man. You deserve it. You probably have a massive headache, but you put it all on the line. Shout out to Dave Caldwell and the whole team. Caldwell Boxing and Jordan Gill. Man, peace and love. Blessings. Let's see what he got next. That's on the domestic level. Shout out to everybody in the UK. Y'all in the UK, let me know what's next for Jordan Gill. Where do you see him going next? Is he world level? Or should he just stay on the European level and dominate? Let me know in the comment section, man. We outie. Yes, sir. Be good. Peace. <laughs>